I'm sure you'll agree with me that Christmas time uh, is the best season of the year, yes? Have you wondered why the birth of Christ is called Christmas? Or why we as believers of Jesus Christ are called Christians? What's so significant of the title Christ? Now Christ is not just the second or the last name of Jesus. It's a highly significant title that is given to Jesus throughout the scriptures. Now what does Christ mean? The equivalent Greek word for Christ is Christos, meaning anointed. That is the Messiah, a description of Jesus as the anointed one. And Christos is derived from the Greek word Kyrio. And Kyrio means to smear or rub with oil. That is to consecrate to an office or a religious service. The word anointed in Hebrew, in the Old Testament, means Moshiha. This word Moshiha appears in the Old Testament. It's translated as anointed. And it basically refers to a person who is consecrated or anointed as a king, a priest, or a prophet. So what am I trying to say? The word anointed or the meaning of the word Christ is just not a savior, is just not Messiah, deliverer, or redeemer, but the word Christ means the anointed one. Jesus, the anointed one, fulfilled all the three roles of the prophet, the priest, and the king perfectly. Let's look at how Jesus ministered or how Jesus fulfilled these roles perfectly. The first thing we look at is Jesus the prophet. Throughout the ages, God spoke to the prophets. He spoke words of comfort. He spoke words of correction. He spoke words of instruction. He spoke words of warning to the people. Now when Jesus appeared and when Jesus taught, he taught in ways that no one had ever taught before. Most of the prophets began their prophetic message. How did the, most of the prophets begin their prophetic message? Yes, they spoke and said, thus says the Lord. See, but when Jesus came, he spoke and he just said it. He said it as one having divine authority. He said it as if he himself was the Lord. Now Jesus was different from all the prophets who ever lived. And how was he different? He was not just a prophet, but he was God as prophet. Let's see how Jesus fulfilled perfectly the role as Christ, the anointed one, as a priest. So when Jesus came as the anointed priest, he was far greater than all the priests who were part of this, of this priestly office because he did not offer any animal sacrifice, but he offered himself as that full, sufficient, perfect, unblemished sacrifice, the unblemished lamb of God of eternal worth. As our great high priest, Jesus represents the people to God. And Jesus, as our great high priest, he understands, he knows our weaknesses and he helps us. Christ the King. God promised that one day there would be someone in the line of King David who would sit on the throne eternally and rule over a never-ending kingdom. And this kingdom that he ushered in still waits its completion. Because Jesus is coming soon. And when he comes soon, his kingdom will be completed. There will be no more curse of sin, no more war, no more death, no sorrow, no pain, no suffering, no sickness, no crying. There will be no more the curse of sin and no more the separation of man from God. 